This is you're in the film. You describe how the uh, police department told you they had the phone of one of the victims, yes. Calvin Kelly, yes. and then the DA later told you, no, they don't have the phone. Then a year later, they suddenly find the phone. It's been hidden in the seat of a police car, supposedly. Do you think this movie is going to make any difference? God, I hope so. I think with all of the attention, I think it's going to get them hopping. It better. <laughs> Maybe some federal oversight to come in, um, FBI or somebody to sort of take a look at their practices. I mean, we both know, we're realists. We know that not every suspicious death is going to get high-end forensics, etc. But there should be some basic standards. Pick up the, the evidence that's left yeah. where the person... Yeah, like I said, we went to the tracks. We found shoe, blood, you know, all and, of... And blood that indicated very clearly that he was already bleeding out yes. before the train hit him. Way before where his body ended up. You know, and if you're hit by a train, the blood's going to splatter, not puddle. Yeah. So the puddle means that he was hurt. Yes. Yeah. And the cops weren't interested in seeing that at all? Not at all. They never went out there. Well, I don't even know if they ever went out there, but they, we had to contact them. They never contacted us. And we had good information. And I know you are a prominent florist here in Auburn, a businesswoman. What's in the window of your shop? No, well, a poster, reward. And Calvin, his birth date and his death date, he's very close to my heart. And you have a, are sponsoring a tip line as well. I hope people noticed it as they're all kind of wandering out at that point. Please look at the tip line. Yeah, we'll have to do some more new posters because yeah. the old ones have the old tip line. So we definitely need to have the yeah. new phone number posted and, and we'll, we'll get some posters out there and put them around town. So, yeah.